is going on guys and welcome back to the movie bunker where physical media is alive and well i am 4k outlaw and we have another blu-ray 4k haul for you and this may be the biggest one i've ever done maybe not in terms of quantity but there's a lot of really quality items in here we've got second sight we've got still books we've got kinos uh, we got all kinds of good stuff. But before we get into the video, I want to say a huge thank you to all of my subscribers. We just passed 700 subscribers. We are doing this very quickly, and I appreciate it. Thank you from everybody that's came over from TikTok. I appreciate you guys. Um, I'm going to use YouTube, like I said, as, on there as a secondary platform for me to do longer videos and stuff like that. I'll be honest with you. I didn't plan on doing this many YouTube videos, but they've seemed to be well received. So we're just going to do them as we see them and no rhyme or reason and keep TikTok a whole other entity. If you haven't hit the subscribe button yet and you like physical media, please do so. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you'll know when all my videos go live. And yeah, it's time guys. This is a big haul. Like all these, we're going to start with the Blu-rays. Actually, we're going to start with a toy so I can hang this up. I want to give a big shout out to Matt's Movie Room. Uh, about a month ago, I posted on TikTok that I'm kind of getting into these uh, little toonie tears. And the main reason was I wanted a, I wanted this Tar Man. I love Return of the Living Dead. I don't really have anything other than the movies to show my love for this. So now we have the toonie tear. So a big thank you to Matt's Movie Room, a good guy over on TikTok. Uh, he found this. I shot him the money and he picked it up for me and stripped it to me right away. So thank you, Matt. You guys know the drills on these. We're going to just start right with the Blu-rays, and then we'll work our way up to the 4Ks. And up first, I picked up Toby Hooper's 1986 classic, um, Invaders from Mars. This has been on my want list for a long time, and it was out of print. Now, I'm almost certain that this had a screen factor. Maybe it was the screen factor that was out of print. But when I ordered my big boy that I'm getting ready to show you here in a minute, I grabbed this as well. And i got to be honest with you, I absolutely loved this movie. The aliens in this movie are awesome. Uh, they have a very cool, unique design, and I'm so excited to finally have this in my collection. I haven't got around to watching all these, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the ones I haven't got a chance to watch yet, but I did pick up VHS 85. I love the first two VHSs, and I like some of the other ones. Whichever one the last one was, 99 maybe, I wasn't a huge fan of, but I've heard this is a step back in the right direction, so I'm looking forward to checking it out. One of, if not my favorite blind buy or purchase in this update is When Evil Lurks. This is one of the most mean-spirited movies I've ever watched, and I absolutely loved it. Um, if you have not seen When Evil Lurks, it is on Shudder. And if you are like I am, I watched this on Shudder, and I immediately ordered this right away and watched it as soon as I got the Blu-ray. This movie is awesome. It is very, very, very mean-spirited, and I loved it. Uh, I'm not a huge Demon Possession fan. I've, I've said this from the start on my channel. This movie reminds me of like how what Near Dark was for vampire movies. This movie remind, is kind of like that. You're kind of like in a... You're heading toward a post-apocalyptic world in this. I, I thought it was a really cool twist, a uh, really cool uh, spin on a really overdone uh, genre of horror. But this movie gets the big up, thumbs up. It's super cheap on Amazon. Uh, if you want to go ahead and just take my word for it, or you can watch it on Shutter. I'll be honest with you, I was not expecting to like this next movie, but boy, was I wrong. And I, that was Lisa Frankenstein. Now, I had a lot of people in my Discord. Uh, if you're interested in joining the Discord, the link is down below. I had a lot of people in, our, in my Discord tell me, you got to check this out. This is really good. A lot of people who's opinions I really trust, and I'm super glad that I did. This was a really fun movie. I watched this, I believe, on Peacock, and then me and my wife was walking around Walmart, and she was like, just grab it. Pick it up, and so I did, and I'm happy to have this in the collection. I know it's probably going to get a 4K, but I've who cares? We'll have the Blu-ray, too. Uh, one of my favorite things I've got in this update, um, I've, I've actually had, this will be the third time I've, I had to sell it once and then I got damaged in the water damage that we had here. And anyways, I was able to get back the Phantasm collection. What's really cool about this. I found this on Mercari for $50 shipped complete. And it is in incredible condition. I think the only thing wrong with it is it's got like a little crease or maybe that's it. There's like a little nick right there. But you know what? I love these movies. I love this set from Wellgo USA. I know it got an Arrow video release. 
but this is the one that I wanted to get back, so I'm really happy to have this back in the collection. Guys, that is it for the Blu-rays. Now it's time for the 4Ks, and we're going to hop right into the Steelbooks. Oh, a huge thank you to Lionsgate. We've already showed these, but I, these are new if you haven't watched the video yet. Lionsgate sent over Rambo First Blood, the 4K Steelbook. I've done complete unboxings for all three of these if you want to check them out, but this Steelbook is incredibly beautiful. We have Rambo Last Blood which I also love this movie. I'm happy to have these. I had the 4Ks, but now I got the still books. And they also sent over Red 1 and 2. So again, a big thanks to Lionsgate. These are only available at Walmart. These are Walmart exclusives. I'm pretty sure these are still sold out online, but I have heard stories. Uh, I know one person in particular, uh, my friend Danny messaged me and said he was able to find these in stores. So go look. I also kind of impulsively, uh, I I've been really trying to complete my Marvel uh, my MCU video movies and I haven't, um, I haven't got them all. And so I kind of impulsively bought this at Walmart. This is the Dr. Strange 4k still book. This is a Mondo still book. And this thing is beautiful. I think of the three or four that I seen, this was my favorite just because Dr. Strange is such a cool character, but the colors and, on, and everything in here, um, they really, really pop. Now those, there's some other beautiful ones. I think they did one for Avengers. But this is the one, I, I had all those. And I'm not I'm not double dipping in Marvel. I just needed to get this one to complete. Uh, I have Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. Now I have the first Doctor Strange. So guys, if you don't know, right now, probably, and, and I've said this on TikTok, in the entire time that I've been collecting physical media, I don't think there has ever been a better deal than this. Now, obviously this is all subjective. It's how you view it. For, for, from a personal standpoint, I never thought there would come a time where there would be $5 still books in the dump bin. That's came and passed. But now they have $5 4K Lionsgate still books in the dump bins at Walmart. I have went to Walmart every single day when, my, when I got off work. And sometimes before and after work looking for these still books. I have people in the county that I know that collect movies too that, I, that were messaging me. And nothing. So, um, a couple of nights ago I went and I, I never really dug around. I always just kind of like, you know, just casually looked and I thought, let me, let me actually dig in this piece. And I found all, well, I found two of these and my wife found two of these and I shit you not, all of these were on the very bottom of this dump bin and the dump bin was overflowing. We actually had to get a buggy and put movies into the buggy and then put the movies back into the dump bin after. I'm glad we did, man. Listen, this is extremely exciting stuff. Uh, some of these ended up being for free. Uh, well, it depends on how you view it. I had to drive it in a little bit, but they ended up being for free because I sold some of these codes for six bucks. And like I said, these are $5. So here we have the Requiem for a Dream 4K Steelbook. Now, I had this with the slip. I put it in the Discord, uh, in my Discord, and it sold pretty fast. I sold all the ones I had doubles of. Again, guys, I can't stress this enough. 4K Blu-ray Steelbook, $5. So go check your dump bins. I've been looking like crazy. I really want the Saw 4K. Collect, uh, the Saw 4K. Can't find it. But this is in there. Again, I had the slipcover. Matt's movie room didn't have this movie. So I just sent him the extra. And I grabbed the Belly 4K still book. Again, these are all the Lionsgate still books in great shape. Five bucks, guys. Sold the code for $6. So this was technically free. The most damage of the three, of the four I picked up, is Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. Now, I can't find Hitman's Bodyguard anywhere. I'm, I'm still looking. Uh, again, though, five bucks. I still have the code for this. I may do a giveaway on a TikTok live or whatever, but again, man, five dollars. I can't stress it. How how cool is it to get five dollars still books? And the one that I'm on, I wanted the most. I really, really want to like this movie. I went to the opening night Fathom one night event, and I, it just didn't do it for me. And I had the 4K slip of this. Again, if this had been any higher than five dollars, I probably wouldn't have grabbed it. And that is Three from Hell. I was really fortunate. I had a great guy named Kill that found me one of these that was going to ship it to me. But the same day he told me he found it, I found this. I just said, man, hey, keep it, return it. Uh, I don't want you to, you know, send it and wait, you know, waste your money on shipping. I found one. So of the ones I got, this is probably my favorite. I am going to watch this again and give it another shot. But the two times I've watched it, it just, it fell short for me. So on to the slip covers. The slip covers are still my favorite. That's what I like to collect the most. And I got to say a big thank you. 
I've done several videos on TikTok. I want to say a big thank you to Kino Lorber. Uh, like I announced on TikTok, uh, Kino and I, myself have formed a partnership. We're going to be, I'm going to, they're going to be sending me review copies. I'm going to be showing them off and reviewing them uh, and showing them, not reviewing, that's not a proper word because I have no business saying it, but um, I do have a 65 inch OLED TV and I do feel comfortable enough in my TV to give you guys my thoughts on the transfers. And let me start off with one of my favorites of the three. They sent me Kindergarten Cop. This move, listen, I've, it's really funny to watch these movies that I remember seeing on VHS back in the day and to now see them in 4K is breathtaking. The transfers are amazing. In my opinion, Kino has no, uh, it's Kino criterion for best transfers. I mean, they're like neck and neck. And I, I even sometimes prefer the Kino transfer. This is an amazing transfer. I cannot stress enough. Uh, if you are a fan of Kindergarten Cop, this is the best way to own it. They were also kind enough to send over John Travolta and Nicolas Cage in Face Off. I have not got a chance to watch this yet, but if you're not subscribed or follow me over on TikTok, when I do watch it, I'll give you guys my quick thoughts of it. Uh, I know that I absolutely love this movie. I've said many times how much the golden guns that Nicolas Cage has in this. I wanted those when I was younger. I thought they were the coolest guns, and I still think they're the coolest guns in the history of cinema. So really happy to have this. I've also talked at length many times on how when me and my uncle used to go to the drive-in, some of my favorite movies I ever watched ended up being what we called side B movies. You would go to the drive-in to watch a big, um, you know, blockbuster, and then when that movie went off, you would get a second movie. And that is how I found this movie, Changing Lanes. Now, I'm going to go watch this as soon as I get done filming this video because I love this movie. Ben Affleck and Samuel L. Jackson. I had no clue what this was about. We just happened to be watching. I can't remember what we went and saw. Uh, and this was the, the, the side B movie, we called it. Love this movie, and I was really happy that Kino put this out. Continuing on with the slipcovers, uh, I came downstairs one day, and my wife had surprised me with this. She bought me this on Amazon. I have talked many times about how much I love baseball movies. Field of Dreams is my favorite, but a close second is Major League, and I was really happy this got a 4K. Now, I know everybody was up in arms about how great the still book looked, and it is a cool still book, but this slipcover... This is the way I want to own this movie. This slipcover was um, is amazing, and the transfer was pretty good, too. Uh, I watched this the day that it came in, and um, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a very kind gesture for her to, to get me this, so I'm happy to have Major League on 4K. In the entire time that I've been collecting physical media, I'm not sure that there has been a more controversial set of releases and a more... What's the word I'm looking for? just miscombobulated. I ended up, thank God for Orbit. These things were impossible to find. And of course, I'm talking about the Cameron um, 4Ks. Up first, we have Aliens, which was probably my favorite of the three. Um, pretty pretty decent transfer, not great. I mean, it's, it's, it's strange. Um, I don't know, man. It just... Maybe it's just me. I was expecting a little bit more, but like I said, of the three, this was my favorite. My second favorite transfer of the three was The Abyss. Now, this seems to be the harder of the three to find. Uh, I'm not sure why, but uh, again, I thought the transfer on this one was okay, pretty good. Um, not great, though. I mean, it's it's got moments where it looks pretty good, but it's just, I don't know. It, it's not a bad transfer, by no means. Um, but, you know... And for me, the one that was kind of a letdown, and, I, and I, keep in mind, I'm not saying that these are like two out of fives, you know, uh, in, in terms of video transfer, in my opinion, uh, was was True Lies. There was some sketchy shit in this. I don't know how to explain it. It just, it just looked weird at times. And then last but not least, what makes this so special and one of my favorite, um, this is why this makes this my favorite, maybe my favorite, um, update I've ever done, the Phantasm set. I've stated before on the TikTok videos, I don't know why I didn't get this. I had many opportunities. I actually was at Grindhouse and had this in my hand and I put it back and I don't know why. Um, but Grindhouse announced, I think it's called like a ding and dent, scratch and dent sale. Um, and I saw that they listed these. They had some that had light damage and some that had medium damage. 
and the light damage sold out fairly quick and I was like, oh shit, so I'm not gonna take a chance, I'm gonna get this. And I am talking about none other than the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Second Sight 4K Edition. So I have the Dark Sky Films release of Texas Chainsaw Massacre and I hear, and, and I thought the transfer on this one was good, but I have heard that this is the better transfer. I've actually heard mixed things. I've heard that uh, they act, some people prefer that transfer. I don't care. I just wanted it for all the stuff that came inside of this. I love this movie so much. I made a video on it. Um, that this is the way that I want to own this film. I want this big box. I want to see it. I just, I, I want to look at it. I want to look at the art cards. Uh, I want to smell it. Because I'm going to tell you something, man. These second sights, they're, they're the aqua digio of this hobby. I mean, they smell so good. But I'm so happy to have this in the collection. This is the kind of movie that I just, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre means so much to me. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. It is one of my favorite summer... Actually, this is my favorite summer horror movie. There is nothing better on a hot friggin' day to watch the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So there you have it, guys. Like I said, maybe not in terms of quantity, but you, it's hard to beat the quality of that update, guys. This is a great time to be a physical media collector. People are all the time saying, is this the end of the hobby? I think updates like this show you just how alive and well this hobby is. And it's one of my favorite things. I absolutely love the community. I love the movie community. I love waking up every morning and seeing what new releases are being announced. I'm still holding out hope that this is the year for Nightmare. And um, again, thank you all so much for the immense support I have received here lately on this page, on this channel. It means so much. Uh, I would, I really am looking forward uh, to growing this channel and getting it past a thousand subscribers and even seeing how far we can get. Uh, because like I said, I, I never thought I'd do anything on TikTok and then here we are 38,000 followers later. Thank you all so much for the support. Like I said, if you guys like these videos, make sure you subscribe. Comment down below what you think about my pickups. Let me know what you've picked up. Give the video a like. Until next time, guys, farewell from the Movie Bunker. I'll see you at the movies.